like every business, you constantly review and think about how your brand and your messaging and your logos are evolving. It's very normal for all companies, I think, to review things over time. And then over the last, I guess, nine months, maybe 12, we've really had a strong think about as a team about what feels authentic to us. When I think about the best brands and logos, I think about what's authentic, what feels true to us, true to the people around us, and true to the people that represent our club. That authenticity has been the lens in which we try to think about our identity. And that's why I'm extremely proud and very happy what we've, we've come up with. Yeah, it's probably two guiding things, really. If I think about how uh, rugby has evolved professionally in Wales, I think not enough thought was originally put into, you know, what the identity should be and why and what sits behind that. One of the big things that struck me when I sort of read back the history of it all is how rushed it felt. So I said to the team here, let's take our time. We've had numerous meetings, engaged with a lot of stakeholders, and really go back to what feels true to us as people that represent the club, work for the club, or come and support the club on the terraces. What do we feel proud of? I, you know, and I think as a club, we feel extraordinarily proud to be based in the city of Newport. And I think, as you can see in the colors, black and amber rings through. We've put it around the pitch and we've put it back in the shirt because it should never have gone away from that black and amber feel. At the same time, it's got to be authentic to us. So I didn't want to you know, step on anyone else's toes because that would be wrong. And I would want to always be respectful of the history of that. The second thing, of course, is the connection to Gwent and Monmouthshire. So there's a bit of blue in it, which represents the whole Gwent rugby, but also the valleys as well as the city. And one of the great phrases I heard when I first came in was, we prepare in the valleys and we play in the city. And that rings true to me. So I think the fact that we've got both you know, really proudly on our shirt now. Certainly, I think for everyone involved in the process of evolving this last 12 months, felt really strong and, and we feel good about it. I think it's important, you know, to contextualize the change in the badge because we wanted a badge that felt, you know, was connected to heritage and the history of our area. Um, and so it wasn't about the dragon's tail no longer being on the shirt, because it'll still be on the shirt. The dragon's tail will be at the back of the shirt. We'll still use it in some of our merchandise. We'll still use it in parts of our community program. And we'll still use the tail. I think, you know, the tail is a fun logo that we can still utilize as part of the brand of being the dragon's rugby. But we feel the crest and the, and, and the chest of the shirt should be strong and powerful about what we represent. What we represent is the area of Gwent and East Wales, if you like, and I think it looks great and, and brings that strength of heritage to the rugby community of, of our area. When I was growing up in Cumbran, I'm going to watch rugby with my granddad, whether it was Crossy Kellogg Rugby Club or Ponypool, all those clubs have RFC in them, even to this day. And for me, rugby clubs are part of their community, but they also, I've just used the word again, we're clubs. You know, we are rugby football clubs. It doesn't detract at all that we represent a region or Gwent. That, that to me was never the point. The best brands are authentically true to what they've always been. And I think rugby uh, clubs in Wales, again, I use the name again, it just comes out. Um, you know, they are rugby clubs. And so the Dragons is no different. We see ourselves as a club. Um, I feel uh, very strong about that. And I know everyone else does here too. And I think it sends to our identity. It says to who we are and what we represent. So adding RFC is very natural. So I don't think anyone should see it as any more than an evolution, but I do think it was an important tweak. I think let's not add things and, and, uh, that don't feel authentic. And RFC felt to me a very important thing to add back. And that's the reason why we've done it. Well, the first thing I hope they feel is that I hope they, feel, I hope they care. Um, you know, I think everyone will have opinions, you know, whenever you do logo changes in any business, some people will like it, some people won't, some people will think we should have done something else and lots of people will have opinions. And, and that's the most important thing to me, that people care, um, because that tells me uh, as a club um, that they care about us and, and what we're trying to do. But I hope people understand the reasons I've just explained of why we've done it. And of course, people will have strong views about certain, we maybe could have gone stronger about Newport, we could have gone stronger about Gwent. We, Maybe should have done this. Maybe we should have changed the name. There'll be lots of opinions, right? But I think that's the great thing about Welsh rugby. We're never shy of opinions. But what's really important what I, that we've been through a process with a load of people internally from the rugby department through the community, through to our commercial team, through to our partners and stakeholders, as well as our supporters club. So we've engaged, you know, with a ton of people here to canvas opinion. We've taken nine months to really think about it, let some of the ideas settle. 
uh, let them ferment uh, before finalizing and committing to this. I feel really confident and proud of what we've done. And so I'd welcome people's opinions always. There's nothing wrong with that. That shows people care. But what I hope people can see is there's a load of people now at this club that really care about what we do, care and are proud of who and what we represent. Um, and, and forever now, we, you know, we've got a very strong, clear sense of identity.